how PayPal be in cahoots with the scammers. I believe that PayPal and Sam's Beauty teamed up, tag team me to take my money, to steal my money. enough the lighting looks good because I have a story time for you guys today it is about how PayPal be in cahoots with the scammers well maybe not exactly the scammers or maybe they do be in cahoots with the scammers I don't know but I know they was in cahoots with this hair company about taking my money I'm gonna go ahead and say the hair company's name Sam's Beauty because I do not plan on shopping with them anymore after this because I had been shopping with Sam's Beauty like more so when I was younger than first getting into weaves and hair when I was wearing synthetic hair but I was about to get back into it for my YouTube and stuff I had already bought some passion twists from them and had been satisfied with my purchase but they took my money this last time so yeah I can't shop with them anymore I can't in good heart shop with them anymore because this the way they handled this conversation uh, the way they handled this situation was just poor customer service and I'm trying to like get comfortable because I wish this was I wish this was tea but it's water because I got some tea to tell y'all about PayPal and Sam's Beauty make sure I don't, my mouth don't get dry because I got a lot to say I have a lot to say so like I said I had shot with Sam's Beauty more so in my younger years when I was starting to get into synthetic hair and synthetic wigs because you know they were like they're always cheaper online than in the beauty spot store long time ago they came out with this line um big the purple pack with the more Afrocentric African American texture hair. They had a half wigs. They had, I didn't even know they had clippings until recently. That's what I was gonna buy. I never got into it and I wanted to get into it recently for my YouTube so I could start reviewing stuff for my YouTube. And they just completely did me so dirty. Something about this doesn't sit right in my spirit. Hold on. Because I got all my receipts. I got all the receipts and how they really had me messed up. Okay, back in July 5th, I ordered the Outre Human Hair Blend Big Beautiful Hair, the 4C Corkscrew Afro Clip-Ins. Cause I had also just dyed my hair reddish, so they had the ones with the dark root and the red. So I wanted to try stuff, like to try and see if I could blend them. Cause I felt like they were gonna blend with my natural curl pattern, especially like if I did a twist out or something very well. So I was very excited to try these products. And so I was really like hurt and upset that I couldn't try them like I had planned on it. So like I said, I ordered it on July 5th. And the reason it brought to my attention, okay, I'll get it to that in a second. But I'm sitting, waiting, oh, and paid through PayPal because it's supposed to be more secure or whatever. It's supposed to be more reliable, I guess, for companies to set a payment through PayPal. That's why they be in cahoots with the companies to take our money. So what happened was I just never received my package ever to this day. So I don't know how they would have done on my hair because I've never seen them in person. They never saw the light of day in my house, in my hand. It's not even given what y'all said it was supposed to give. No. It's never... So yeah. And so the reason I noticed that I didn't get my package was because I had was ordering other things from Amazon at the same time and the things that I had ordered after the clippings I had received I was like hold up but as you know COVID and stuff I you know I was thinking okay they're probably gonna take like two weeks to get here considering COVID and everything so I was just giving them a grace period you know I got Amazon Prime so of course I'm expecting my things to get here pretty quickly I ordered the clippings on the 5th and then I got something on the 10th Yes, I received one of my Amazon packages on the 10th, and then I finally was like, hmm, I haven't 
gotten my clippings. This was on July 16th. Remember, I had ordered everything on the 5th. And I'm looking, and I finally decided to check my email. And it says I had received the package on July 8th. And I was like, um, who? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Not me. Somebody, I don't know who received the package because I didn't receive the package. That's what made me start to, I was like, okay. I went to the post office first because I'm like, okay, if they saying I got my package, the post office did something wrong. Because the way I was living in is apartment complex, student living, where like we had like a community like post boxes or whatever. And sometimes if your package was too big, they would put it in these big old um, boxes, almost PO boxes, on the bottom and they would leave the key to the PO box in your regular mailbox. So I didn't get the key or anything. So I'm like, um, I don't have my stuff. And so I finally decided to go up there. I think it was that the very next day or the day after that, cause we all know how Trump was defunding the post offices. So I noticed the first when I was back home, I was like, are these lines of these post offices are long. And there was only one person working. And so I was like, okay. So I went up there and I was like, I'm standing in this long line. I didn't stand in the line more than like 10 minutes. I'm just like, this is not worth it to stand in this line. It was $30. I'm like, okay, surely Sam's Beauty will either just give me my money back or like send me some more, uh, another package because customer service. How wrong was I? So I was just like, I'm not finna wait in this line and then get all the way up there and they really not be able to help me or they really just, I have to just wait to hear back from them about it. Like, I was not finna stand in line for that. I emailed. Sam's Beauty on July 16th telling them, hey, I didn't get my package. It says deliver, but I did not get it. And they emailed me back and they were like, sorry for your inconvenience. They were, please check your neighbor's house. I'm just like, bro, like, it's so many people out here. I really gotta go knock on everybody's door to see if I got my package. They said, since someone may put the package for safekeeping, they wouldn't have done that. They would have taken it to the office, and the office would have gotten in touch with me or something, but that's not what happened. Somebody stole my package. <laughs> and they were telling me to call USPS and open a lost package inquiry. And then they said I was going to be right with a case number. And it's saying that if USPS could not find my package, then I needed to get back in touch with Sans Beauty. Keep in mind, okay, I'm reaching out to them and I'm doing exactly what they're telling me to do. On the 18th, I told them I had filed the claim and it was supposed to get back to me within a business day, but they did not. I don't know, we had a few days had passed and I was like, I want to request a refund because it's been 10 days since it said my package has been, been delivered and I hadn't received anything. They were telling me to provide the case number, which I did, and they were gonna transfer it over to their claims department. Which, who knows if they actually did that or not. That exchange happened between the 16th and the 21st. But then finally, USPS had gotten back to me on July 27th, six more days later, telling me that in every attempt to try and locate my package, they had not found it. Uh, and they filed the claim under stolen package because they said they had ended up delivering it to the wrong mailbox, which I'm just like, I was trying not to get angry. Fuck you, you baby bitch. But I'm like, you have one job. That had never happened before. And I'm just like, bro, bro. Uh, let me not say that because I don't know everything it takes to be a postman, postwoman. So let me not say that. But the point is, I reached out back to Sam's Beauty and I had told them that USPS had finally gotten back to me and they said it had been filed under a stolen package. Okay, that makes me think, okay, so even if USPS tells them that the package was stolen, now they have to do something about it. I was a paying customer gave you my hard-earned money 
my hard earned thirty dollars so I could try the clip ins and I was gonna do a nice little review that hopefully one day in the future maybe I would get to work with Sam's Beauty but no never got that chance and I sent them a screenshot of everything so they they knew it was legitimate so because like who is gonna put in that much time and not me at least to try and scam them for $30 or some fake clippings some clippings I can't even straighten or nothing like it's human hair blend bro I feel like they could have spared another pack of clippings or just say what are you married oh, Jesus <laughs> I said below I forwarded you the response from USPS they said, Dear Jada, thank you for choosing Sam's Beauty. We apologize for the inconvenience. A PayPal dispute was open, which we're gonna get to that, cause we finna get to them. I think we ain't done yet. They, they turn coming. PayPal dispute was open, so the resolution will be provided through PayPal. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking this is just a formality that they have to go through since I did pay through PayPal and since I had already opened the dispute. But I was just trying to cover my ends, bro. Like, because I had talked to USPS, I had talked to Sam's Beauty, and I had talked to PayPal because they was all involved in taking my money. Okay, so when I opened the case, with PayPal, you had to go through the resolution center, all that stuff, and I was trying to request a refund. And PayPal was saying how like, try your best to get in contact with the seller to see if it can be resolved with them beforehand, which, <laughs> so it's not like I didn't do that. They said go into as much detail as possible about what happened. So I did. And so I told them everything how I had ordered on July 5th, but I didn't check until later and it said it had been delivered on the 8th. And I told them how I would receive multiple packages, how I look on the 16th, how I went to the post office and all that stuff. On July 28th, I added how I had gotten into contact with USPS and they confirmed, so they knew that USPS it's confirmed that my package had been stolen. They knew that, but what happened? I ain't getting my money back from them. And I copy and pasted what Sam's Beauty had said to me into the response in the resolution center. All this is I copied and pasted that exact email into my dispute. I want you to tell me what you think PayPal had to say to PayPal in order for them to not file the case in my favor. What is the only evidence that they had to provide? The tracking number. Of course the tracking number is going, because PayPal checked the tracking number, I'm assuming. And of course it's gonna say it's delivered because I had told everybody that it said it was delivered and USPS said it was stolen. Sam's Beauty knew it had been stolen. I told PayPal what Sam's Beauty and USPS had said. And I went all this detail having to provide all this evidence about what happened. And PayPal, all they did was send them a mother tracking number. The claim was not filed in your favor. And I was heated, heated. I was so heated, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, I have to go through all this over some $30 clippings. I did everything I was supposed to do. I went through all, who is going through all that trouble to try and just get extra product, try and get their money back when they already got their product. Who is going to go through all that just for, for $30 clippings? Uh, and nobody was trying to work with me, bro. Sam's Beauty was not trying to work with me. PayPal was not trying to work with me. I believe that PayPal and Sam's Beauty teamed up, tag team me to take my money, to steal my money. That's how I feel. And I'm gonna stand by that. And I'm just so adverse to PayPal now. And I'm just like, <laughs> PayPal. And apparently, this is not unbeknownst to PayPal. Cause I'm gonna post a tweet, cause she, you know, she gets donations from things that she does. Her followers donate to her. And she said that PayPal had taken more money from her that she had received 
through PayPal. And I was like, okay, so now I know it's not just me and it's not just my situation. PayPal got some going on there, but whatever. I won't be setting up any business or anything through PayPal. They gonna pay for my Chick-fil-A. Almost don't even want to like pay for things through with companies through PayPal because I am currently waiting five weeks, five plus weeks for some jewelry that I was supposed to get made that was supposed to be paid through for PayPal. If that doesn't turn out right, you can be looking for another story time on that too because I'm spilling all the tea. Y'all gonna know who all not to shop with, period. Cause money ain't free. Money ain't free. And customer service. All you gotta do is provide good customer service. You're running a business. You need to provide exceptional customer service. But uh, so yeah, so it's not unbeknownst to PayPal to take your money, apparently. I gotta talk about how did I get my money back? Cause you know, I was gonna get my money back, period. And that's what period proof, baby. Period, look what's... I thought it was people in my bank. Y'all got the right one. That's, I'm gonna get my $30 back. My bank said, okay, it might take three months to get everything sorted out. But I'm thinking they just gave that money back to me because I haven't heard anything else about it, which is cool. Cause they provide you a credit until the dispute is settled. But, and you know I got all the receipts cause they're gonna be right here in this story time. I'm ready. I stay ready so I don't have to get ready and that's on period. Okay. So that's all I have to say. I hope you found this story time entertaining and informative. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you like this video that I got going on, I just recorded Insta video. So make sure you check that out too. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye. Mm-hmm.